I am pleased to introduce the second half of our arts program for the evening. Alongside bicycles and cheese, which if any one of you know me well, you know that I love those things. The Dutch Old Masters paintings are perhaps the most iconic cultural aspect that many people know about the Netherlands. However, the impact of contemporary arts and culture should not be overlooked. Celebrated contemporary Dutch design lives alongside vibrant street art, and for centuries, immigrants from around the world have integrated their cultural traditions and ideas into the fabric of this rich multicultural society. In this context, it's easy to predict that a professional arts school dedicated to providing equal opportunities would thrive. Code Arts is a Rotterdam-based international university providing high-level professional arts education from classical, Indian, Latin, and pop music to modern dance and contemporary circus. The university has about 1,000 students comprising 65 different nationalities. The institution is committed to diversity, inquisitiveness, and sustainability with intensive national and international exchange programs to enrich perspectives and skills. Tonight, we are excited to welcome Code Arts students to perform a dance and circus arts program that is based on themes of justice, community, and human dignity. The first performance, choreographed by Wessel Ostrom, is called The Speech, and will be performed by three dancers from Code Arts Dance, Zoe Irina Saurleano, Gautier Hemmerlin, and Kani Michael uh, Obenga. Film aficionados might recognize the text as Charlie Chaplin's The Great Dictator, set to music by Jimmy Laval. Following this, Not On Hands will perform a piece called Brace for Impact. Britt Timmermans, Mario Kunzi, and Thies Bastien formed this partner acrobatic circus trio after their study at Code Art Circus. Brace for Impact is a piece about working together and building a new and better future. We have lost the way, the way, the way, the way. Violent. Black man, white, white. Sorry, but I don't want to be a, an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. 
We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone, and the good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful, but we have lost the way. Greed has poisoned men's souls, has barricaded the world with hate, has goose-stepped us into misery and bloodshed. We have developed speed, but we have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical, our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The aeroplane and the radio have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men, cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world, millions of despairing men, women, and little children, victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, and what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines. You are not cattle. You are men. You have the love of humanity in your hearts. You don't hate, only the unloved hate, the unloved and the unnatural. Soldiers, don't fight for slavery, fight for liberty. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke, it is written, the kingdom of God is within man, not one man nor a group of men, but in all men, in you. You, the people, have the power, the power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Then in the name of democracy, let us use that power. Let us all unite. Let us fight for a new world, a decent world that will give men a chance to work, that will give youth a future and old age a security. By the promise of these things, brutes have risen to power, but they lie. They do not fulfill that promise. They never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people. Now let us fight to fulfill that promise. Let us fight to free the world, to do away with national barriers, to do away with greed, with hate and intolerance. Let us fight for a world of reason. A world where science and progress will lead to all men's happiness. Soldiers, in the name of democracy, let us all unite!
We are indeed stronger together. <laughs> Thank you, Code Arts. Um, so I have the uh, great pleasure of dismissing you this evening. Um, we'll begin tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. for another exciting day of programming, and tomorrow is focused on identifying what works, and we'll fe feature our World Justice Challenge finalists. Um, just a couple of housekeeping. Um, sorry, just one more thing. Tomorrow evening, as you're thinking about tomorrow, uh, a reception at Amare Performing Arts Center will begin at 17.30, that's 5.30, uh, followed by two arts programs at the Film House that Ted uh, Picon described a little earlier today. That begins uh, at 19.30, 7.30 tomorrow evening. And just a reminder that participants must sign up for off-sites, uh, including the Film House program, in order to attend bring your IDs and a face mask. Uh, and I think that's it for announcements for this evening. And thank you very, very much. And uh, I wish you the best evening and some, some good rest, and we'll see you tomorrow morning at 9 a.m.